Welcome back, science enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of toxin-based vaccines. In this video, we'll explore how these vaccines work, their advantages, and some of the remarkable breakthroughs they've led to. So, let's get started. What is bacterial toxin? Bacterial toxins are substances produced by certain bacteria that can cause harm to the host organism. These toxins are often proteins or protein complexes that have specific effects on cells and tissues. Bacterial toxins can interfere with normal cellular functions, disrupt the immune system, or cause damage to various organs. They play a significant role in the pathogenicity of bacterial infections and can contribute to the development of symptoms and disease progression. Examples of well-known bacterial toxins include diphtheria toxin, tetanus toxin, cholera toxin and botulinum toxin. What is toxoid? A toxoid is a modified or inactivated form of a bacterial toxin that has been converted to harmless form while still retaining its ability to stimulate an immune response. Toxoids are created by treating the toxin with chemicals or heat to deactivate its toxic properties, while preserving its antigenic properties. These modified toxins, or toxoids, are used as vaccines to induce an immune response and generate protective immunity against the original toxin-producing bacteria. By immunizing individuals with toxoids, the immune system can produce antibodies that can neutralize the actual toxin if exposed to it in the future. Toxoids are commonly used in vaccines against diseases caused by bacterial toxins, such as diphtheria and tetanus. What is toxin-based vaccine? A toxin-based vaccine is a type of vaccine that utilizes toxins produced by certain bacteria. These toxins are altered to be safe and no longer cause harm to the body. The modified toxins, toxoid, known as antigens, are used to stimulate the immune system and trigger a targeted immune response. By introducing these antigens, toxoid, into the body, toxin-based vaccines can effectively generate antibodies and memory cells, providing immunity against specific diseases caused by the toxins. These vaccines have been instrumental in preventing and controlling diseases such as diphtheria and have the potential for applications in various fields, including cancer immunotherapy. How bacterial toxin inactivation is done to get toxoid vaccine. Bacterial toxin inactivation to obtain a toxoid can be achieved through various methods. Two common approaches include chemical treatment and heat exposure. Here's a brief explanation of these processes. Chemical treatment. Chemicals can be used to modify the bacterial toxin and make it non-toxic. One commonly employed chemical is formaldehyde, formalin. The toxin is mixed with a precise concentration of formaldehyde, which reacts with the toxin's functional groups, such as amino acids, altering its structure and neutralizing its toxic properties. This process is known as formalin inactivation. Heat exposure. Another method of inactivating bacterial toxins is through heat exposure. By subjecting the toxin to high temperatures, typically around 60 to 80 degrees Celsius, 140 minus 176 degrees Fahrenheit, for a specific duration, the heat denatures the toxin structure and make it non-toxic. This process is known as heat inactivation or heat treatment. Both chemical treatment and heat exposure aim to disrupt the toxin's active sites or conformation, preventing it from interacting with target cells and causing harm. The choice of inactivation method depends on the specific toxin and the desired characteristics of the resulting toxoid. It's important to note that the inactivation process must be carefully controlled to ensure that the toxin become non-toxic while still retaining its antigenic properties. Extensive testing and quality control measures are conducted to confirm the efficacy of the inactivation process and verify the safety and effectiveness of the resulting toxoid for use in vaccines. What is the purpose of toxin-based vaccines? The purpose of toxin-based vaccines is to prevent and protect against diseases which is caused by toxins produced by certain bacteria. These vaccines utilize modified toxins, known as toxoids, to stimulate the immune system and induce a targeted immune response. The main objectives of toxin-based vaccines are Immune response Toxin-based vaccines aim to trigger the production of specific antibodies and immune memory cells that can recognize and neutralize the actual toxins produced by disease-causing organisms, if exposed in future. This immune response provides protection against the harmful effects of the toxins. Disease prevention. By vaccinating individuals with toxin-based vaccines, the goal is to prevent the occurrence of diseases caused by toxin-producing bacteria or other organisms. These vaccines can help reduce the incidence and severity of illnesses associated with specific toxins. Long-lasting immunity. 
Toxin-based vaccines can provide long-lasting immunity by stimulating the immune system to generate memory cells. These memory cells, remember, how to respond to future encounters with the toxins, allowing for a rapid and effective immune response if re-exposed to the toxins. Public Health Impact Toxin-based vaccines have played a crucial role in public health by controlling, eliminating, or eradicating diseases caused by toxin-producing organisms. They have contributed to reducing the global burden of diseases such as diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, and certain types of meningitis. Potential Therapeutic Applications Beyond disease prevention, toxin-based vaccines are being explored for potential therapeutic applications. Researchers are investigating their use in cancer immunotherapy, where modified toxins can selectively target cancer cells, enhancing the immune system's ability to fight cancer. Overall, the purpose of toxin-based vaccines is to harness the power of toxins to elicit a protective immune response, prevent diseases caused by toxin-producing organisms, and improve public health outcomes. What are the examples of toxin-based vaccines? Here are a few examples of well-known toxin-based vaccines. Diphtheria toxoid, vaccine. The diphtheria toxoid vaccine is a prime example of a toxin-based vaccine. It contains an inactivated form of the diphtheria toxin produced by Corynebacterium diphtheriae bacteria. The vaccine stimulates the immune system to produce antibodies that neutralize the actual toxin, preventing diphtheria, a potentially life-threatening respiratory infection. Tetanus toxoid, vaccine. The tetanus toxoid vaccine is another notable example. It contains an inactivated form of the tetanus toxin produced by Clostridium tetani bacteria. The vaccine induces an immune response that produces protective antibodies against the toxin. This vaccine is an essential part of routine immunization schedules and helps prevent tetanus, a severe disease characterized by muscle stiffness and spasms. A cellular pertussis vaccine, pertussis, or whooping cough, is caused by the bacterium Bordetella pertussis. A cellular vaccines for pertussis, often administered as part of combination vaccines, such as DTAP or Tdap, contain inactivated pertussis toxin. These vaccines help protect against whooping cough by stimulating an immune response to the toxin and other components of the bacteria. Botulinum toxin-based vaccine. Botulinum toxin, produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum, is one of the most potent toxins known. Although not a routine vaccine, research is ongoing to develop toxin-based vaccines against botulinum toxin. These vaccines aim to induce immunity against the toxin, preventing botulism, a severe illness characterized by muscle paralysis. Conclusion. Toxin-based vaccines have revolutionized the field of immunization, protecting us from harmful diseases. They harness the power of toxins to trigger a targeted immune response and provide long-lasting immunity. As research continues to evolve, we can anticipate even more breakthroughs and new applications of toxin-based vaccines. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning about toxin-based vaccines. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of microbiology.